Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make the world's best Neo Cube spinner or Buckyballs, whatever you want to call it. First, you want to start out by making a pentagon, which is the shape that takes five dots. Then, make a line and start wrapping it around the hexagon. What you want to do is wrap it around uh, five times so it will be five dots high so do that so right now see yeah, it's three rows high one two three have to make sure that there's five so keep wrapping it around now it's four Alright, so here we go. Now, this is five rows high. So you kind of have like a pyramid here. Yeah. Next thing you want to do is you want to make a line again. So do that. And then what you want to do is, you see you have one, two, three, four, five, six on every side. You want to, like you're building a pyramid, you want to put between the between the two dots and uh, put five there then on the other side you skip one you put five there put five there and five here and then here you don't skip one you skip two so it will be in the middle so this is what you get so now you put five there you have to make another line so now I made my line here. Then you want to do the same thing, but for the five, you're going to put four, put four down. Then you put another four here and you have to do it on all sides. So you see, I have four on all sides. Then you have to do the same thing again, but only you have to put three. So three, three, three. Three. Yeah, so now it looks like a star kind of, but you're still not finished. So the next thing you have to do is you have to do the same thing, but you have to put two. Mm, it's a little complicated sometimes to put the two because the forces counteract and like force the magnets to go somewhere else. Yeah. So the last one. Okay, so here you have this thing that looks kind of like a star. You want to flip it over, put it on the surface or something, and just push it down so it makes creases where we made this, these little flaps. So what you want to do then is you have a pyramid. You see, it's. Hold on, let me show you closer. The flap, it's in the form of a pyramid, and you have one, two, three, four, four dots here. You want to fold it from this spot up to here, so this is what you have to do. Take it, and you fold it just like that. And you have to do it on all sides. So you take it and fold it. Okay. Okay. So now you should have something that looks like this. Then what you want to do is you want to make another line and you take the line and you put it between these little holes and you should put four into here so that's how many you have to put. So here go oh, four another four four I might need more balls okay and the last four okay excellent so you might have to like push the, those four in 
might not. Okay, so now you have this. You have like a 3D hexagon. Then what you want to do is you want to take one ball and place it into this hole right here. So, so that it fills the space. And then you, you want to make a line and you want to put it on that. Take the other side. You, you have to put it in here and then you just keep on wrapping it around until... Sorry, my camera fell. Okay, so, yeah. You want to wrap it around the, or inside this little hexagon area, and just fill in the places. Hold on. Oh, excellent. Okay, I have to take one more. Okay, excellent. Then, you have something that looks like this. You just have to fill in this space. So, here we go. Might be a little hard to do this, but whatever. Okay, I have a new idea. Just leave that one in there. And then what you want to do is just make the smallest hexagon possible. Take five and just stick them in there. Or not. Alright, excellent. So now you have this. It should look something like this. And you have some area in here. So then what you want to do is take one and put it in the very middle. Then you want to make a five dot hexagon and like put it right there. Yeah, so it should look something like this. And and take one more dot and just put it on top of the hexagon. So now you made the world's best Neo Cube spinner. I'm gonna show you how it spins. If you spin it real well on a really flat surface, it can spin for about like five minutes. Because my table is not smooth. And I didn't spin it too well. It's only going to spin for like 30 seconds. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and like the video. If you have any comments or questions. You can comment. And I'll respond as soon as I can. Bye guys. Hope you enjoyed my video.